Sakamoto Days is a manga series written by Yuto Suzuki and illustrated by Shingo Nanami. It is published weekly on Shonen Sunday's magazine since February 2020. Sakamoto Days is a fun action-packed series that follows a unique premise. Sakamoto is a likable character who is easy to root for, and supporting casts are also well developed. The action scenes are well choreographed, the sighting and the humor is well balanced. With serious moments, overall Sakamoto Days is a great read for fans of action, comedy, and slice of life. Sakamoto is really a heartwarming anime. Yeah, it has a lot of action scenes and fighting scenes, but each chapter will make you want to come back for more. Not just for actions and fighting scenes, but also connections between each character of Sakamoto Days. I just want to talk about the main character, Sakamoto, because his character is really enjoyable to read and watch. Sakamoto is a former assassin trying to live a normal life with his wife and daughter, but he left the organization to have that normal life with his family. But once you leave the organization, you must be killed. So Sakamoto has to fend off different assassins each chapter. And I gotta say, I love the premise of like each assassin. Like they have like their own thing about them being an assassin. And I get they're like made for like funny gags and stuff. Like the chef assassin, the bathhouse assassin, and I love the fact that uh, Sakamoto doesn't look down on them. Even though he's completely stronger than them, he doesn't look down on them. And I love that about this series. It's really funny. And Sakamoto as like a character overall is such a really good character because he, by his appearance, he looks like a character that is weak and weird. But the dude is hella strong. He's just probably one of the strongest characters, well, according to the chapter I'm in right now. He's probably one of the best assassins out there. And he is so good at being an assassin. And he has this form, like, you might guys remember when Majin Buu had, like, that, uh, that rip stage in Dragon Ball Super. But in this one, Sakamoto sheds all that fat when he wants to go serious, like he legit goes skinny again and becomes serious. And then he turns into this like ultimate assassin when he goes all skinny. And I love that. I love when he goes skinny because I think his, his uh, character design is really good. I love his character design, it's really cool. And after his sight he, he brings back all that weight he becomes a normal dad and i love that about his character he's strong but he could be relatable if you're not a assassin but the next character i wanted to talk about is shin he has the ability to read your mind and, and i love this running gag in the show that every time shin does something or Shin does like something that irritates uh, Sakamoto. He pictures him killing him. <laughs> Sakamoto uh, thinks about killing him in his mind, and Shin is able to see it. And I love that. It was a, it's a really funny joke everywhere in the manga. And he's an assassin that was sent to kill Sakamoto because, like I said, once you leave the organization, you are immediately a target, and you. Or there's, they sent assassins to you to kill you. But Shin at first, you know, thought that Sakamoto is a character or a person that just lost everything because they used to work together. But after the after that fight scene, Shin is just really appreciative of Sakamoto. The fact that even with uh, how he looks now, he is still strong, and he's. I feel like Shin looks up to him because. He doesn't really, like, throughout the chapter, you see uh, Shin's childhood, and you see that he had nobody to, know, look up to. And I like that. It's, he feels like a normal character to me, even with his ability to read minds. His ability to, you know, make me feel that, you know, I could read minds, essentially. I, I know that's weird, but 
he, he seems like a normal person to me, so I can I feel like he can I can relate to him in some kind of way. But it's the fact that his fights are really good too. Like the fights in Sakamoto days are really interesting to watch because of the fact that it's so action packed. Like you like you just get assassin work all the time. Yeah, you know, like high action uh fighting in this manga. And Shin's uh fighting scenes are are panels are really good because yeah he has a ability to read your mind but once a character or a foe knows he can they find ways to maneuver you know a maneuver to able to come paint with his ability and it's a really good um it's a really good uh you know thing to watch it's really fun to watch the other character I wanted to talk about is Luke. She is a daughter of a trade family. And if I can describe her with one word is little sister. Because I'm a strong little sister if you wanna if I wanted to put more words into that. Hey, she seems like a strong little sister to me. She she acts like a kid, but she's hella strong. And I like I like her and Shin's uh uh, chemistry because they're like siblings like the uh, chemistry and Jinji Jukaisa all three of them I love that chemistry and in one chapter she pulls out the drunken fist so she's automatically my favorite character out of everyone in the manga because we're in Exorcine she is my favorite character in the manga and reading and watch, watching all these chapters is such a treat because so far I'm on chapter 36 reading all 36 chapters it was really fun the relationship between all three of them is a really good relationship and I can't wait to read more and you know it's really fun to uh read I hope they get an anime adaptation I'll definitely be down for that and if you guys like this video make sure you like subscribe make sure you put the notification button on to see when I upload what I do but anyway see you guys later Peace.